Yellow, Ralph McIntyre with Astro Matt Links. Well, I'm here to do another video on astro cartography. You know, I didn't mean to be too clickbait with all you need to know in astro cartography, but you know, in this video is going to be very controversial. Some people are going to really love this message, and some people are not going to like it very much. And for the people that don't like it, don't watch it. Don't comment on it. And for the people that like it, I hope you enjoy it because it's really designed to help you have a better understanding on how to read, how to understand your astro cartography. So without any further ado, let's talk about the first thing you need to know when you think about astro cartography. And I said this in many of my other videos, but I'm going to really dive into it today. The planets in your birth chart are there to help you lose the ego, connect with the divine. They're all essential. Your higher self put them all there. They are all super essential. And the other thing you got to realize, astrocartography, when you see that map, when you see that line, when you see a sun line, that's not just a sun line. That's not everyone's sun line. That's your sun line. That's your sun in your birth chart, in the signs, in the aspects, as your soul wanted it there to help you lose the ego, connect back in with the divine. So it's like, you know, if you, I were to ask you, it's like, hey, can you move me someplace where I don't have to have my left hand? It's not as strong as my right hand, but just move me someplace. You'd laugh at me. So it's like, if you think you can move away, or move closer or, or whatnot, it's not really the case. No matter where you are, the planets in your birth chart are there to help you. As soon as you become friends with them, as soon as you integrate it, as soon as you realize that left hand is just as valuable as the right hand, it may not be as strong, it may not be as dexterity, but it's just as valuable. You're going to understand you're going to move above the limiting aspects of people's beliefs around astro cartography. There is no good lines and there is no bad lines. It's how you integrate the information. And the more you integrate the information, the easier your whole life is going to be. You can't ignore your Saturn. You can't ignore Pluto. You can't ignore Neptune. You can't ignore squares. You can't ignore them. It never goes well. The more you spend integrating, the more you start to see it as your friend. Pluto lines. It's so funny. Some of my most successful, thriving people did it on a Pluto line. You know? People think Pluto lines this evil thing. It's no. Pluto's your friend. Pluto's the best friend in your birth chart. Pluto's going to help you let go of all the things you need to let go of so you can thrive. Pluto's that friend that'll tell you what you need to hear, regardless of how much it ruffles your feathers. So to understand your astro cartography, it's really simple. You got to understand your birth chart. If you don't understand your birth chart, you will never understand your map. And there's no panacea there. You can't move to one line and everything's good. It's like you have to integrate your whole birth chart. It's really simple that way. And once you understand that, then astro cartography can be super powerful and not limiting, not something you have to be fearful of. You know, I have a ton of videos on this subject on my YouTube channel. You might want to check them out. And then if you want to get a reading where I dive deep into the evolutionary intent and help you understand what's really going on, the karma, the blocks, the ego holding on. Because usually whenever you hear bad stories, Every time I've ever heard a bad story about astro cartography, as I dive deeper in the many and many, many readings I've done, when I dive deeper, it's always someone's ego not letting them integrate a part of their birth chart. It's never the line. It's never the planet. Don't blame my friend Saturn. Don't blame my friend Neptune. Don't blame my friend Uranus. Don't blame my dear, dear, dear friend Pluto. For your ego's unwillingness to let go of things that keep you from where you want to go. It's not the planets. It's not your astrology. It's not the lines on the map. Once you get this, it's so much easier. Finding a place to live is so much easier. All right. I hope you have a spectacular day. And thank you so much for watching this video.